Okay, so here's the deal. I want to go on a trip. I want to do two bucket list items on this trip. It's going to be uh, taking a photo and framing it. Okay. And the second one is going to be snowboarding. Uh, so Europe? Yeah, somewhere in Europe. But how about we go to... invited us for a sail trip around Greece. So this sail trip was intended to be only a few days long, so we decided prior to this sail trip we'd go to Switzerland for a week. Unfortunately the things for the sail trip didn't work out, so uh, we incorporated to our plans that we go to Switzerland for two weeks, and the guy that invited us for this amazing sail trip just joined us for a portion of it. So uh, welcome to this journey through Switzerland guys. Okay, so um, we've made it to Flims. So this is actually where all the, the photography spots begin. Today is the official start of trying to find the perfect photo to frame. Being inspired is critical to our life story. It brings us to people and places that we would have never found otherwise. The amount of inspiration I get from traveling places like this is absolutely mesmerizing. Was. Beautiful. Lover set my heart on fire till the day I expire. Teach me things that I don't know. Give me strength. To let you go. Hey guys, uh, welcome to Lake Como. There's a little bit of a backstory behind Lake, Lake Como. So I have been to Italy before. It was about four years ago and uh, for those of you who don't know, that's actually where I got engaged. So I really wanted to come see Lake Como but it was just a tad too far from our trip so we did miss Lake Como but it's about five years later and we're back in Italy. It's a bit of a detour from our Switzerland trip, but uh, it's definitely the ultimate place to come find some inspiration. It's not the mistakes that you've made It's how you fix it in the end change of plans, it's uh, gotten dark and we haven't got on a bus, so uh, we're just waiting for him to arrive about now. It's not the mistakes that you've made It's how you fix it in the air
Water? Laat hem in de gezin eten, hè? Ja, oké. Ja, we zijn bijna kort. Zo, we hebben hem gewoon af op de treinstation. Um, he is flying back to Porto, Portugal. Portugal. So uh, yeah, we are heading off to our next destination, which is going to be hopefully a cold one. We want to go skiing in Zermatt. With our heading set to Zermatt, we took the shortest route. Little did we know that this route led to nowhere. It's such a great metaphor for our lives, thinking that we know where we're going, but ending up in places far beyond what our imagination could comprehend. It's exactly here that I snapped one of my ultimate favorite photos. After we had taken the wrong route, we ended up reaching our destination well after sunset. Everything was closed already, we had no one at reception waiting for us, and we had the streets almost completely to ourselves. Okay, so we've made it to Zermatt. It's a, it's a, it's a bit colder than we expected. So we ended up buying Nadia a, a nice jacket for a crazy amount of money. Um, it is raining, so our plans of skiing doesn't look like it's gonna realize for now. But we, we have all the hopes for tomorrow, right? Hopefully, it's gonna, yes. it's gonna work tomorrow. Um, pretty exciting. What's nice about this type of weather? It's absolutely amazing to uh, take some videos and footage for. So let me show you what it's got. Throughout our three day stay in Zermatt, the weather conditions didn't change at all. Now obviously we were bummed about this because uh, our hopes and dreams of snowboarding, yeah, it didn't look good. Alright, so we had a very uh, fortunate change of events. Uh, we were checking out this morning out of our hotel and uh, just as we checked out, Joel phoned us, he's our ski teacher and he let us know that the, the ski uh, slopes are open and that we can come for a quick ski, se ski session. So that is another bucket list item that uh, we ticked off. It's, uh, it's amazing, the view isn't too, too great today, but uh, we, there was a moment that we had a great view. Um, what a lovely experience. Uh, you need to, we need to work on our skills a bit, but uh, damn, this, this is definitely one of my favorite moments.
Framing my first photo has been such a fulfilling experience. It got me to realize that art is not just about the beauty of creation. It represents a significant time in our lives. It's a piece of who we are. It's an expression of emotion that reminds us of what is truly important.